Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of MacBreak. I'm Travis Richmond. Lately, we've been getting a number of requests to cover how to get Final Cut Pro projects into DaVinci Resolve for color grading, then send the graded projects back to Final Cut. So in this video, I'm going to walk you through our process. Here I am in Final Cut with a very simple edit of some dive footage. Underwater footage can be challenging to grade, so I would like to move it over to Resolve to take advantage of its more robust color tools. If you're planning on round tripping or moving your edit to Resolve, I recommend doing it with a simple version of your edit. While DaVinci Resolve does a great job of importing Final Cut XML, because you are moving from one application to another, it is possible that not everything will translate perfectly. For this reason, you'll want to keep your timelines fairly simple. Basic titles and simple transitions like cross dissolves will translate correctly, including any clips that you've connected, scaled, or rotated. However, and this is a big one, if you have a composited clip, like this picture in picture, Resolve will not export the clips with the transform information or the alpha channel. A scaled down clip will match the timeline resolution with a black background. Therefore, I recommend that you compound clip any composites before exporting the XML file. This way, Resolve will treat the composites as a single clip. You'll still be able to grade each clip within the compound separately, but Resolve will flatten the composite when rendering out all the color graded media, which I'll show you later in the video. Lastly, Final Cut Pro effects will not translate, including more complex animated titles. All that to say, the simpler your timeline is, the less likely you are to run into problems. And you'll definitely want to check the integrity of your timeline once it opens in Resolve. On this clip here, I've applied a basic contrast correction to demonstrate how color changes you make in Final Cut Pro are handled when round tripping to Resolve. By the way, what I mean by round tripping is sending a project to Resolve, then sending the graded timeline back to Final Cut Pro. I made this contrast change using Final Cut's color board. Resolve will be able to recognize any contrast and color changes you make here, but it will not recognize changes made using the wheels or curves palettes. The idea is that you are making basic adjustments to be used as a starting point for your work in Resolve. The primary method for moving your Final Cut project over to Resolve is through the magic of XML. I'll select the project in the browser, and from the file menu, I'll choose Export XML. Here, we can name our XML and choose where to save it. At the bottom of the window, you can change the metadata view and the XML version. Make sure you are using the latest version of XML to avoid any translation issues. I'll click Save. Great. For those of you that are not familiar with XML, or Extensible Markup Language, it's simply a small file that contains all the details needed for recreating the edit in Resolve. Moving over to Resolve, I've already opened an empty project. You can import the XML in the Media page, Edit page, and Color page using the Media Pool. Right-click in the Media Pool and choose Timelines. Import XML. I'll navigate to where I saved my XML file, select it, and click Open. Resolve opens a window of options specifically related to XML import. There are several checkboxes I want to draw your attention to. Automatically set project settings will ensure that the Resolve project settings match frame size and frame rate of the project you've sent from Final Cut. This next checkbox will ensure that the source media is imported into Resolve and added to the media pool. In this case, the XML is pointing to the media referenced by Final Cut Pro. If the media was copied to another drive that is not referenced by Final Cut Pro or the XML file, you will need to manually relink that media in Resolve. This box labeled Use Sizing Information ensures that any scaling or rotation applied to your clips in Final Cut Pro are correctly applied. The Use Color Information checkbox will include any contrast or color adjustments you've made in Final Cut Pro's color board. I'll click OK. Right away, my timeline and media are imported into the media pool. With the media pool in list view, I can see my imported timeline with an XML icon, letting me know that it was created via XML. Also, notice that this clip in the timeline has the contrast adjustment that I made in Final Cut. So far, so good. Here's the dissolve and then the title, which you will notice does not have the correct font. But don't worry, it should be correct when we move back to Final Cut. 
And then we have the two compound clips here. Notice that once I move the edit into the color page, the compound clips are treated as one clip. If you need to color correct the individual clips in the compound clip back in the edit page, you can right click and choose Decompose in Place. Or you can right click and choose Open in Timeline, which is the same as double clicking a compound clip in Final Cut Pro to open it in the timeline. Now, these clips can be graded in the color page. To exit the compound clip in the edit page, double click the timeline name in the breadcrumb trail here. Now I'm free to finish my edit and resolve, or prepare it for round tripping back to Final Cut Pro. So why would you want to move your Final Cut Pro project to DaVinci Resolve? While Final Cut Pro is a great application, it simply cannot compete with the tools available in the color page. If you didn't know, Resolve was strictly a color grading application before its other pages were added over the years. With a few simple steps, now you have this color grading powerhouse at your disposal most of which is available for free, I might add. I'm not going to go over the color tools in this video. There's too much to cover, and we already have many videos on Resolve. If you are interested in learning more, you can also check out our tutorials on DaVinci Resolve, which you can find at rippletraining.com. Okay, now that I have a nice grade on my footage, I'm ready to send my timeline and newly graded clips back to Final Cut Pro. I'll click on this button here to navigate to the Deliver page. If you're new to DaVinci Resolve, the Deliver page is where you handle exporting. To the left is where we choose our settings, and along the top are Export Presets. I'll scroll over and locate the Final Cut Pro preset. There are two options, Final Cut 7 and Final Cut 10. I'll choose 10 and then take a look at the settings below. When we originally exported an XML from Final Cut Pro and then imported it into Resolve, we were referencing the original source media that was imported into Final Cut Pro. Now we are going to export a new XML and new media with our color grades baked in. At the top, we have file name and location. The file name says source name and can't be changed. If we made a change to the names of our media, it would not relink properly when importing the XML back into Final Cut. I'll choose a location by clicking Browse, selecting a folder, and then click Open. Next is Render. Both options are grayed out, and Individual Clips is selected. Resolve will export an individual file for each clip in the timeline. Below that are three sections, Video, Audio, and File. The Resolve preset does a great job of setting everything up for you. The one thing you may want to adjust is the format and codec. I'm going to choose QuickTime for the format, ProRes for the codec, and 422 for the type. If I was working with higher quality media, I may choose 422HQ or 4x4. With that, I'm ready to render. I'll click Add to Render Queue at the bottom, and now we can see that the job is added to the queue on the right. Next, click Render All. Back in Final Cut, we can now import our newly graded timeline. From the File menu, I'll choose Import XML. Navigate to the location I chose when working in Resolve, and you'll see the new XML file along with the new ProRes media. I'll choose the XML and click Import. A new event is created and contains my timeline. I'll double click it to open it. First off, notice that the title has the correct font once again. Then the clip I originally applied a grade to in Final Cut still has the color board adjustment applied. I'll disable it here. Much better. Also, notice our composited clips are no longer compounds. They are a single clip now. If your new media is not appearing in the event, just select a clip in the timeline and press Shift F for match frame. And this will reveal the clip in the browser. Great. Now you know how to round trip your project to resolve and back. There is another option, however. You could do it all in resolve. 